pause the video now guys and try this exam style question okay looking at differentiation using the power to power rule okay so power of a power okay this is from the edexcel pearson level three gce mathematics advanced paper one pure maths one and it's a specimen paper so this is from the 2017 okay when the specification was first written okay for the june 2018 okay exams onwards okay question number one the curve c has the equation y equals 3x power of 4 minus 8x cubed minus 3 a i i find the y by the x so differentiate okay find the rate of change the power comes down as a multiplier and the power reduces by one so three, three times four is going to be 12 and then the power reduced by one so we're going to have 12x cubed okay minus 24x squared because 8 times 3 is going to be 24 and then the power comes down by 1 okay the power goes down by 1 and then differentiate minus 3 goes to 0 because a constant differentiate goes to 0 differentiate it again so differentiate divided by the x that'll be 36x squared minus 48x okay so that was obviously worth three marks okay so well done if you got that okay good work part b verify that c has a stationary point when x equals two we sub in x equals two into divide, divide by the x making sure that it's equal to zero so we're going to have 12 lots of two cubed okay and then subtract 24 lots of okay two squared two cubed is eight eight times 12 is going to be 96 if i'm not mistaken and then four squared is going to be sorry two squared equals four four times 24 is going to be 96 we have 96 minus 96 which is equal to zero again if you're unsure just bring it into your calculator okay so make use of your calculator where you can okay i'm just doing obviously a bit of mental maths here okay so that's part b done okay so remember stationary points okay or turning points is when the y by the x is equal to zero part c determine the nature of this stationary point giving a reason for your answer so we substitute in x equals two into the second derivative okay to find out if it's bigger than zero less than zero or equal to zero okay if it's equal to zero then it's a point of inflection okay if it's less than zero then it's a local maxima and then if it's greater than zero then it's going to be a local minima okay so now 36 lots of 2 squared subtract 48 lots of 2 48 times 2 is going to be 96 so we're going to be minusing 96 or subtracting 96 2 squared is going to be 4 4 times 36, double 36 is going to be um, 72, double that would be 144. 144, 144 minus 96, that is going to be greater than zero. Okay, therefore, okay, we have a local minima, okay, or a minimum point, okay, so local minima. So min e no, okay. Or a local minimum point okay either word would suffice okay so you're gonna be like a minimum point okay when x is equal to two okay so it's a minimum point okay and that's my answer for part three okay and question one had a total of seven marks okay so well done if you got seven out of seven okay let me know in the comments if you've got seven out of seven okay and again here is the mark scheme okay to show your answer okay so it's obviously a bit small there let's just delete that because okay, so you can see the mark scheme okay but that's how they're going to allocate the marks and sorry yeah, if it's actually a bit small okay but zoom in here if you need to see yeah, okay so there we go okay and that's how they allocate the marks okay Thanks for watching. Take care. All the best, guys.